hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create this calculator in react native so here you can see this is the calculator layout and this is how it will work so here we can see the previous number and the operator which we have provided and here we can see the result and by this we can delete the number and when the number is deleted finally it will be zero automatically okay and otherwise if we use clear that is also clearing the screen so that is the quick demo of the app which we are building today so if you are interested in these kinds of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so here i have created a new project with create expo app command and here you can see this is the default layout and i don't need all of these things so i'm going to clear this project and for that i'm going to run npm run reset project command so here it is asking do you want to move existing files to app example instead of deleting them yes i want to delete those okay it was asking if i want to move so yeah it did move all those files to app.example i don't need it let me delete it and here we can see we have this layout and the index that is good that is exactly what i wanted now let's start the project so this is the clean layout and here first let me import stack from expo router and here i am going to provide the title and then here i am going to create a directory called components and within it i will create calculator component also along with it i want to create another directory called utils and here i am going to provide colors.tsx and here i am going to provide some colors which i have already created so let me provide that here so here i am creating the colors constant and here i have provided all the colors and i am exporting it so i can get those colors here now here let me create the component and now let's provide the style for container so let me create the container here i will provide flex one and let me provide a background color let me import the colors let's provide the dark color okay and now here instead of this view let me import the calculator so here we can see the calculator component is showing now let's get rid of this dark color and after that first i am going to create the layout the first section will be the display section where the numbers and the results will be displayed and then here it will be the keypad right so i am going to create two view so the first view i will call it display so i will create the display style and then for the next one i will call it keypad so let me create the display style so for the display i will provide flex one let me provide a background color here let me provide a generic color here so that you can understand the layout properly and for this one i will provide flex two and here let me provide the background color green so that is how these two sections will take the space on the screen and here we have an error and that is because of this text that we can ignore because we are not going to use text like this i just wanted to show you this layout now after that for the display i want to provide the text and here i need to provide some number and i want to position it here so for that i need to provide some style so here instead of red let me provide a color which i'm going to use and that will be the gray color and now let's provide a padding 20 and for the padding horizontal i will provide 40 so let me provide it as padding vertical after that let me provide align item flex end so here it is positioned now we need to push it to here for that it would be justify content flex end so now it's looking good now for this text let me provide a style 
and here i'm going to provide font size 70 let me provide font weight 300 it's looking good now after that let's create this keypad so within the keypad we need to create the buttons and that button would be touchable opacity and here let's provide a number so here we can see that but it is not properly visible now let me create the keypad style so for the background color let me change this color to colors dot light and then i'm going to provide flex direction row because here the buttons will be positioned beside each other and then i'm going to provide flex wrap as wrap because here i want to provide four buttons then the four like this the buttons will be placed so that's why i have provided flex wrap for justify content let me provide center i will provide gap of 30 so for all of the child element of this keypad component would have 30 pixel gap now let me provide padding 30 now here is the button and as there will be multiple buttons so let me cut it from here and let me create a new component called button and here let me provide that so let me import touchable opacity from react native and here we don't need view and for the touchable opacity style let me provide button style let me create that button style here for the button height and width i will use 70 pixel for border radius i will use 10 pixel and for the padding also i will use 10 then let's center the content within it which will be the number and for the text style let me provide a font size 34 now i need to use it here so here we can see the button and here we can click on it now for the button i want some prop and the first prop would be title which will be the string and the title would be this number and along with that i want to display different color for the different type of button so here for the top button i want to display a different color for the right side of buttons i want to display a different color and for the rest of the buttons which are the numbers for those i want to provide a different kind of colors so that would be the type so let me name it as type and there are three types only right so i want to define those types so first i will have top then i will have right and then i will have the number type so the top buttons right side of buttons and the other buttons which are the number so these are the type and based on the type i want to provide different colors of the button i will implement that soon but first let me provide the title here so first let me provide the title first it would be button c and right now let me provide a color here so i have provided a color and here also let me provide a color now let me create another button which will be the back or delete button okay so for that i'm going to use this one so i have just copy pasted it here now let me quickly create other buttons okay so this is the button layout and we have created all the buttons now we need to provide the different type so here we have three types other than these three we cannot provide any other type okay so if we provide any other type it will display the error so that is i have provided now here it would be top for this one also it would be top for this one it would be top as well but for this one it would be right and for this it would be number and for this one it would be right as well so let me provide those type quickly okay now here based on the type let me provide the color for this button so here it would be background color and let's check the type if type equal to top 
then the colors will be button dark if type equal to right then the colors would be button right color otherwise for the normal one it would be button light now save it so with the save here we can see the color have been changed but for the numbers here we cannot see the buttons properly here we can see the buttons we can click on it but the text are not properly visible because the text color i have provided white i need to change that here based on the type as i have provided here so here for the color let's provide if type equal to number then we need to provide the black otherwise the color would be white now save it so here we can see the buttons properly so the design is complete now here with the button title and type we need another thing which is the on press and here it would be type of function so here for this on press we will get the on press so here let me get that on press so here i can use that okay so now we need to get the on press here as well so for that we need to create some functions first i'm going to create some state which will be useful for the calculation so here let me first create first value state and by default it would be empty string then i will create another state called display value and here by default i will provide zero and then i will create another which would be operator and by default it will be empty string as well now let's create handle number input function and here we will get some number as the parameter to this function and that would be type of string and here this display value would be the value which we will display here so let me provide that here instead of this number i will provide that display value so this zero is here so whenever we will handle the number input so that means when i am going to press some button that time instead of zero it would be that number first right so here we need to provide that check if the display value is equal to zero then we need to set display value as number else if it is not zero if it is a number then it would be display value plus number so let me provide that for these numbers so here i need to provide on press handle number input and here the number would be seven so let me copy it from here and paste this for this one it would be eight for number nine it would be nine so similarly let me quickly copy it for all of the numbers so now let me type some number here right so it is working perfectly well so when initially it was zero that time the set display value has set to the first number which i have provided then it is adding the numbers adding the numbers mint as this is the string so it is adding so that means it is creating the number it is adding the number beside the previous number that's how it is creating the number now after this handle number input let me create the function to handle operator input and here also it would be operator and the parameter type would be string and here we have set operator so we need to set the operator with the operator which we have passed here right and now when we have set any operator that time this display value would be stored in this first value so that's why i am setting the first value with display value and that time the set display value would be zero so here i want to provide another text it would be first value plus operator and for this text style i will provide font size 30 and for the font weight i will use 300 so let me provide the handle operator input so here it is a uh, operator so here let me provide the handle operator input and here let's provide the operator so now let me copy it 
and let's provide that for the other operator so here it is the division here it is the multiplication here it is subtraction and then here it is addition okay so now save it so handle operator input we have a number and now let me provide operator so here we can see that it have been provided here so this is the text which i have created now so this is what we are storing the display value in the first value and the operator and now if we type anything that would be displayed here and again we can provide the value here and now we need to create the handle equal or handle result function so here let me create handle calculation so here first i will create a number one constant and here it would be parse float first value similarly we will have the number two and here it would be the display value so this is the first value and this is the display value so currently whatever we are displaying here that is the display value right now we need to check it based on the operator so if the operator is plus operator then we are going to do plus and that we want to set in display value right so for the set display value here we are doing num1 plus num2 and we need to convert it to string now else if operator would be subtraction then it would be the same thing instead of addition it would be subtraction so let me copy it so if it is multiplication then it would be multiplication if it is division then it would be division and then finally if it is percentage then it would be percentage like this okay and then here i want to set the operator to empty string and for the first value also i want to set it to empty string so here let's provide on press handle calculation now let's click on this so here we can see the addition have been performed successfully now we have these two button left so first one is the clear button and the second one is the deleting number so here let me create the handle clear function for the set display value it would be zero for the set operator it would be empty string and for the set first value it would be empty string as well so whatever we have stored or whatever would be present that would be cleared right so here let's provide that for the on press of it let's provide handle clear so now click here it have been cleared right now we need to provide this delete functionality so here let's create the handle delete function so for the handle delete simply we can set display value with the display value slash 0 minus 1 so it would delete the last value let me provide that here handle delete okay so here we can see that it is deleting the number right but here we can see the final number also have been deleted now we are not seeing anything but i don't want that when the last value would be deleted then finally it should display zero over here so for that here we need to provide a check if display value dot length equal to one then we want to set the display value to zero else we want to delete as we are deleting okay now save it now let's provide some number now let's delete now this is the last number when it is deleted that time it became zero right so this one otherwise it is working like this so finally our calculator is complete right so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this let me know by commenting down below and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know
and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye